I'd like to offer you an idea for a wood grain effect. This panel that you're looking at, um, a very large panel, but it gives you an idea. I've done a lot of painted furniture over the years and have often been asked to produce a wood grain effect. Um, this is a, a painted panel which I've, I've done with acrylics and something called a glaze which keeps the the um, the wash open it keeps the color open a bit longer so you, you can manipulate it to get these wonderful effects but there's no reason why to an extent you can't do it with um, watercolor paints and I'm going to show you a way that, uh, that hopefully will be useful for you um, I've just mixed a wash um, I've put quite a bit of color in so you can see it and I'm going to put this all over in a nice big square and of course you could just sort of painstakingly paint each grain and things like that oops there's a hair get off um, but this way it sort of gives you a more natural look a more authentic look and of course you can make the colors according to the sort of wood that you want to um, depict right there we go so there's a wash which is starting to dry out quite quickly so before it goes too far I'm going to take a another brush and I'm going to use this one's not particularly that big I'm going to take now so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to just holding the brush very loosely I'm just going to drag it along the wet wash okay remember I always say to have control of your brush you want to hold it right down by the ferrule but this we don't want a big control aspect we want it to look natural so I'm just letting this la da da dance across that water the colours are academic it's just so that you can see what's happening and try not to fall in a pattern so easy to fall into patterns oh. and you might want to sort of have a bit like that and you could have broken bits now before that drives off too much it's just starting to I'm going to take a dry brush, a nice soft chisel brush, and I'm just going to brush that across, across the grain. Now you can actually see how nicely some of that has moved, but how some of it has dried too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to do it again just so you get the idea of what what's going on it's all about judging how wet to leave the wash when you put the veins on how dry how wet it's just getting that in between a bit And it doesn't have to be smooth because wood effects seldom are. Okay, so let's have another go. You see, if you go in too wet, it's just going to run out. But that's not that's not too much of a problem. Let some of them run and let some of them go on a bit drier. I've got a hair there, look, that out. So it really is a question of just practice. And of course, you can layer it, you don't have to have it done in one go. Now, by tilting that, I can see how dry it is. That's drying off quite a bit there. So just gently smudge it.
across. Now that can be the first layer. Okay, forget about the colours, not very good colours, but it's just to give you an idea. So let's see, I've got a very wet patch there, so I'm going to lift some of the colour out. Right, I'm going back now with my brush and it's, I don't know if you can see because you've got to catch it on the light, but I'm going in, whoops, too wet on the brush there. Go. See how much drier it is up there. Not really paying too much attention to this being a specific grain. I just want you to get the idea of it. Then with that very soft brush, just smudge it across. And of course you can, if you wish, smudge that way as well. It's quite a fun process um, if you just let yourself have a play with it. This is how you do marbling effects as well. Okay, pesky hair, come on out. Going back in again, doing a bit more. You can build up quite, I mean, you could peel, build up lots of different colours. Um, it exactly depends on the effect you want. Leave it entirely up to you. This is just to give you a, an idea. Pesky hair again. There we go, look, lovely. starting to look quite interesting actually. Forget those rogue hairs, they're a bit of a nuisance, but whoops, far too wet. And of course, you, you, you know, it's drying out at different rates. I won't go into the technicalities of wood graining and the, the what's, the knots, what not to do. But just just get the idea of it. And you can get some areas you're going quite dark, get some areas quite dense with veining and knots and things. Oh, that crossover is not good, but we won't worry about it at the moment. Right. Smudge that out a bit. Of course, you could go in the darker sections, thicker. And those little smudges in themselves look, create a sort of veining block, um, grain, veins in marble aren't they, a graining block. And just look, see how I'm just squidging the, the paint around. Very soft dry brush. 
Okay, let's build up a little bit sort of a knot there. you can choose the colours, it could be a grey wood like an oak um, that's very wet there, I'll just give that a couple of seconds so you are letting your colours just sort of smudge together let's get that in, but you're sort of trying to control it in a little, a little way. So there's an idea for a wood grain effect. You could probably say that that's quite a good section. And when that's thoroughly dry, there's nothing to stop you, if you wanted to, going in and doing some more really fine lines, it's not quite dry enough, but really fine lines on top of the patches you've done. And if you were doing a specific effect like a bird's eye maple, you could do a little whirly. Smudge them. It's not quite so we'll take that out. So it's just to give you an idea of another way of working with watercolours. So I hope you find that useful. Um, but just go and play with it and see what you think. Because if you use that as a background, you'd have to mark off your area probably. But use it as a background. Let's make a big chunk there. It could be quite effective. So, there we have it. A sort of a wood graining effect. Um, not a specific wood or anything, but just giving you an idea of making the marks and then smudging with a dry brush. I hope you find that fun to play with.